Okay, good afternoon everybody. In this uh, video, I'll show you how to use conditioning and if statement with text boxes. And uh, this is chapter four in your book. The uh, purpose of this program, how to use conditions, simple conditions with a text box, with a string values. So we have a small program that does, you enter the employee type in the first part. You have three types of employees, a regular employee, manager and then you have head and the regular employee they get based on the company rules they get their monthly uh, the uh, they get basic salary of 2000 and the allowance is 3000 and the managers they get 5000 and 5000 and the head gets 10000 and 15000 and the monthly salary is the addition of those two all right so I'm going to do it the not a good way first, and then I'll change the program and show you how it is done the right way, okay? But the first, uh, the first one is the easy way. So I'm going to click on the monthly salary, and here is my place to code. How many variables do we need here? Three. Three for what? Basic salary, allowance, allowance and monthly. In addition to that, we have one more thing, who is the employee type right the employee type so I'm going to define those four variables the let's start with the uh, salaries or the employee type the employee type what type of variable is it is it a string is it number string so we define string employee type imp type okay then we need to define what the, uh, the, uh, variables. The variables are the salaries integers or double double, double. double. so we say double monthly salary for example first of all basic salary b salary allowance. then what allowance. Uh, allowance a allowances allowance then what monthly. monthly salary m salary all right so that's we define the variable the next thing i need to do is that take my input that my program depends on. How many inputs do we have? Four. How many inputs do we have in the form? One. One. What is that input? Employee type. type. So I need to take that value and then store it in my variable employee type, m type, so I can do the calculation based on that. Now I don't need to do it, I can use the string, the text box automatically, but I wanted to show you this way. So I say m, m type equal to what? What did we call that? TXT type. type. What? How do I get the value from the text box? <laughs> that? Uh, open bracket. No. no, no. String. How do I get the value from the text okay. box? String. Text. text. That text. Yeah. So I'll say that txt and then that's it now the t is capital that's why you get that red the, 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 red, uh, the red letter so the convert as you said if you want to convert to a number but here we're not converting to a number right because it is already a string employee type is a string so i don't need to convert anything now we do my conditions okay so the condition goes like what? The condition like this. First, we need to say if what? Open bracket. What is my con imp type equal to what? Our one hand? Regular. What do we do if it is regular? How much is the allowance? Allowance equal 2,000. Basic, how did we call it? Basic or how did we call it? B salary? B salary, right? Equal to what? 3,000. That now what do we do? How, is, how about the monthly salary equal to what? The monthly salary equal to what? 
basic and salary. And salary equal allowance, allowance plus, plus basic. basic. B salary, right? Got the idea? Here we have a problem. Why is it a problem? Do you see that? Yes. Why? No. So we have to put two equal. We have to put two, two equal, not one equal, yeah. because the condition is two equal. So when we put two equals, it will disappear. Clear? Now what do we need to do? We need to continue for the other condition. So once I do one, I can do copy and paste. And only thing changes what? The numbers and the type. So I do what? Control copy, control V, and another control V. So we have three conditions. So here instead of regular, what should we put here? Manager. Manager. Here, for manager, what do we get? What do uh, what they get? Five thousand. And then for the allowances, another five, right? So it is equal to change the allowance. What change allowance one? How about here? Head, right? Ten thousand. Yeah. Well, it depends on the problem. You can't just say that. And the basic salary is 15000 Depends on the problem. So we did, we did what? We got the input. We did our calculation. Now we need to show the result. Yeah. Now we need to show the result. Where do we show the results? In where? In these labels, right? I have this label, this label, and this label, right? So how do I show the results here? I can say LBL allowances dot doesn't matter dot what text equal to what allowance to string. And then here we use the currency. Now it's going to be in dollar. It's OK. That would be a lot of money per dollar. But you get the idea. All right. What's the problem here? Local variable double allowance error. Use unsigned value variable allowance. Oh, OK. You know what is this saying? I'll tell you what is the problem. Just a second. Let's control copy this and do it again. No, not, uh, we don't need to, we need to do the other one. P salary dot text, again equal to what? B salary to string, again here we use currency. We will get another error here. Here we got the spelling, but. No, no. Where? We got. Here it's no, no, not that. Okay. okay. What else do we have? Uh, monthly. Monthly. Month LBL monthly. LBL's monthly dot text equal to what? Monthly salary. Monthly M salary to string. And then again we put here C. All right. So why is this problem here? Accepting first so argument type. Oh, this is not basic. This is LBL salary, guys. LBL. That what did we call that one? LBL what? LBL. LBL. Let's try it. You sure? I'll be L monthly, we call it, yeah. No, no this is monthly. B salary, oh, uh, basic. Basic, I'll be L basic, okay. I hate this stupid thing. Uh, 
Here we have B salary, here. Okay. All right. Okay, look, so here's my program. We finally, we do the calculation and we show the result. But there is a problem here. Do you see this? Do you see this problem? The red, what does it say with the problem, with the red line? It says local variable double allowance, error. It, it might not have any values. When you see this, use of an unassigned local variable allowance. What this means, when does the value of allowances change? Only if one of those conditions is true. What that means is that when you're trying to use it here, it might not have a value. So you need to put an initial value first. How do we put the initial value first? We just make them, and I define them here, right? All I have to do is just say equal, what, zero. You initialize them to zeros, okay? And then here you put equal to zero. And then here you put equal to zero. Now it's happy. Now it might be can double, should not be empty, okay? Now it's happy, all right? Time now, let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. If we enter manager, and then I hit monthly salary, 5,000, 5,000, and 10,000. If we enter regular, right? Zeros. Why we got zero here? Yeah, yeah, but there is what? Let's check how we did the program. Let's move this down and then move this up a little bit to see where's the regular. Okay, and then compare the two. Okay, what did I type here? Regular. Regular. What did, how did I spell it here? Regular. Here, regular, right? Here, regular. Right? So what is the problem? Spelling. Spelling. Now if I hit the button, it will calculate it. When, when there is one more thing, right? <coughs> Monthly. I mean, sorry, head, right? If I hit calculation, it, cal it does the calculation. So what is the problem with this program? You saw a problem already. What is the problem? Spilling. So the user have to do what? To know what to type. That's difficult, right? Which one is the better? Let them type or we let them choi uh, select from a list? We select from a list, right? So the next part I'm going to show you, how do we allow the user select from a list? I'm going to do it without the video first. I'll put it on pause and then... I'll, I will, we'll do it together and I'll record it again, okay? All right, notice a minute ago I said this equation really doesn't depend on the condition. This equation depends on what? It applies to all the conditions. So there is no need for this equation to do what? To be part of inside the condition. So all I need to do, delete this and delete this and then just keep one of them. Where do we put this one? At the end, before we display the result. You get the idea? Now I display the result. You keep it inside, it's fine. But what's the problem? Maybe it is wrong, then it's repeated how many times? Three times. Then you'll have to fix it three times. But here it is wrong, only one place you fix it. Okay? Too much yeah. Clear? This is okay. We're done with this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to make it as a combo box. Huh? Combo,